There's still no answer from anybody. Right. Now, okay, Parrots, here's your mission, should you choose to accept it. Explain why there are two Apollo 13 command modules on permanent display. Why is one of them sealed? Answer that. so informed about the Apollo missions parrots you should know the answer to that straight off the top of your head I want to hear it come on let's hear it what's the answer why are the two Apollo 13 command modules on public display what's the answer why are the two Apollo 13 command modules on public display Despite all this, the Apollo defectives continue to claim that BP-1227 is the second Apollo 13 command module, an odd claim, as it was lost at sea in early 1969, recovered by the Soviets, and not returned to the United States until September 1970. Apollo 13 was launched on April 11, 1970, and splashed down on April 17, 1970, while the Soviets were in possession of BP-1227. It was returned five months after the Apollo 13 mission. And how many of them are there on display, Apollo 13? Two! There are two Apollo command modules on display claiming to be Apollo 13. One is at the Kansas Cosmodrome, and the other is at the Grand Rapids Museum in Michigan. It's just a shame the Russians were having some naval exercises when Apollo 13 launched. Apollo 13 launched on April 11, 1970. Operation Okean ran from the 14th of April to the 5th of May 1970. It started three days after Apollo 13 launched. And if you believe Marcus 25 years of research, Alan, it was all done so the Soviets could capture an Apollo boilerplate capsule was stationed at an American military air base, in the Azores. It was being used for recovery training by the British Navy. This was in case of an emergency abort, that would result in an Apollo capsule, landing in the North Atlantic. The best available information indicates that it was lost in early 1969 during a training exercise, somewhere between the Azores and the Bay of Biscay. The matter has been researched in detail by Eddie Pugh. I suggest you read his report or actually watch one of my response videos, on the topic. Marcus 25 years of research Alan, you keep stating that boilerplate 1227 was in the North Atlantic Ocean on April 12, 1970, the day after Apollo 13 was launched on April 11, and two days before Operation Okean started on the 14th of April 1970. Do you have any proof for this claim? Everything I have read, 
says that the BP-1227 was lost in early 1969 and recovered by the Soviets in June 1969, and not returned to the USA until September 1970. So why are you claiming it was in the Atlantic Ocean on April 12, 1970? How could it be if the Soviets still had it? They've never, they've never addressed it. They won't even think about it. They won't even go anywhere near it because if they did, they would see that the whole story of Apollo 13 was fake. No, Marcus. 25 years of research, Alan. You explain how boilerplate BP-1227 can be in the hands of the Soviets from June 1969 until its return in September 1970, and in the North Atlantic on April 12, 1970.